Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNut.com. I'm here to give an overview on how to play our Math Pup Golf 3 Edition game. If you're not familiar with MathNut, we have lots of free math games to play, as well as fun games, worksheets, and teaching tools. And they're all free to play without any membership or sign-up required. Um, and this particular game is the first in our Math Pup Golf 3 series games. We'll be adding additional games that teach different and teach and reinforce different math skills. If you have any specific skills you'd like to see done for this game, please feel free to contact us at info at mathnook.com. And you can contact us there if you, even if you have any questions, and we'll get back in touch with you, hopefully with an answer. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the game. When you first start, this is the menu you'll see. When the game loads up, this area, instead of being green, will be red, and as it moves, you'll see the green move across. And when this is entirely green like this, it's ready to play. It's fully loaded. And uh, you can click this play button, and it'll take you to the game. Okay, um, let's take a look at the instructions. I won't be going over these, but I'll show you how to maneuver here by doing the right and left arrow on here. You can scroll through the uh, instructions. This button here, uh, these two buttons here are on most of the screens, and this button, sound button, you can toggle on and off, which will toggle the sound on and off. This will take you to the main menu. You can also go to the main menu by clicking this left button on the, on the first instruction page. It'll take you to the main menu. This more games button will take you to the, our sister sites, uh, our sister websites, uh, page, uh, which they have lots of, uh, f also they also have lots of free math games to play and fun games, and a lot of them are uh, unique to their site, and you'll only find on their site, as well as some of the games that we have on our site are unique to our site. Okay, uh, this button is a video uh, button, and it will, if you click that, it will take you to our uh, page that has this video on it, in case you want to watch this again. Let's go ahead and click the play button, and this will take you to the submenu where you can choose to play beginner, intermediate, or expert mode. And it's simply uh, different levels of math problems, with beginner being the easiest, the intermediate a little bit harder, and expert even harder than that. Let's go ahead and click the beginner. And uh, as you can see, I've got three stars on the first four levels. And I've not completed the fifth level. And you can tell because the six is not, uh, uh, is not uh, able. I'm not, I'm not unlocked yet. And here's the rest of the level. So you've got 20 levels. When you get through all the 10th level here, you can just go over the next, uh, use this arrow to get the next one, uh, the 11th, and play those. Okay, let's take a f look at the first level. Now, before you start, you have to answer an addition problem correctly, and it tells you answer the problem correctly to play this hole. If I don't answer it correctly, and I'll go ahead and do that, now, it'll give you an X, and it'll tell you to try again. Let's go down ahead and answer it correctly. Get a little green uh, check mark, and I'm ready to play. Now, the you've got the toggle sound button here. You've got the menu button, as, as I showed earlier. And this button here will let you re let you uh, allow you to restart a hole in case you take too many strokes and you just want to, especially if you're trying for three stars and you start graying out the stars and you know you can't get three stars, then you can click this button and it'll let you allow you to restart again. This number here is your, the number of bonus strokes you have. Right now I have two because I've played some other levels, but you get a bonus stroke for every level you complete with a maximum of three bonus strokes. And I'll show you how that works in just a minute. This tells you how many strokes you've done, and so far I've taken zero strokes. This tells me what hole I'm on. And these numbers here represent uh, the numbers that, uh, for each star. So for this star to stay active, <coughs> excuse me, all three stars stay active, if I get more, take more than two strokes on a hole, then this star will gray out. And if I take more than three strokes, this star will grow out, gray out. And if I take more than five, this will gray out. So as long as there's three stars, uh, not grayed out, then I'll get those three stars. But as they gray out, gray, become grayed out, I'll get fewer and fewer stars. And I'll show you how that works, and you'll see in just a second. So, in fact, I'll show you, go ahead and show you how that works right now. Now, to shoot, you'll just touch, or I'm using a mouse, so I can left click, touch, and drag, but in a, on a mobile device, you'll touch, keep your finger down, and move it, and then when you release it, he'll take the shot. 
Now, you can click anywhere on the screen, uh, and I'll show you. There's some places that are better than others, because right now, you'll see the direction and power represented, uh, shown where uh, my mouse is, is white. It's very hard to see in the, in the uh, white cloud. So I'll go ahead and move that inside the circle that you can barely see there, and he won't take the shot. You also may not want to take a shot too close to the edge uh, because your uh, the indicator will go off the screen. And like I said, you can always return back and take a shot from uh, where it uh, makes more sense to take a shot from. And in, in this case, I'd like to go up here, say in the blue sky, give me plenty of room to move around, and you can see pretty much where I'm at. Now, if you notice, as I move this bar around, the arrow, math pup, where, uh, the arrow indicating where math pup is going to shoot changes direction, and as I go close to the circle and farther away, the power increases. Let's go ahead and take the shot. I'm going to go ahead and release it. That's about the power and the angle I want. And it looks like it may roll in. If not, now you can't do anything until the ball stops and math pup moves over to it. You can't take a shot. So. So sometimes that can be confusing because it'll get in this trough here and it might be moving a little bit and you won't be able to take a shot, but as soon as Math Pup moves over to it, then you will be able to take a shot. Okay, this is an easy shot, so let's go ahead and get, excuse me, go back like that. And I got three shots and I got another bonus stroke. And let's go ahead and I'll show you what the uh, third level is like because there is a water trap in or penalty, I think. Uh, so go ahead and do 12. And if I take a shot now, let's go ahead and just uh, go in the water here, which is a penalty. And it tells you, answer problem correctly to avoid penalty. Now, after I answer this problem correctly or incorrectly, I'll have to take the shot over again. What I'm trying to do is avoid the <coughs> excuse me penalty stroke. So I'll go back. I'm going to go ahead and answer correctly. I have one stroke now. I answer correctly. It takes it off. Now, so you, you can I'll go ahead and make, take some shots here. And see, I can't do anything until it completely stops. And mass pup move. There we go. So I've taken two strokes here. And if I wanted to continue playing, but I wanted to try to get a um, three stars, I'd go ahead and click my bonus shot, and you'll notice the strokes go down. So that way, that kind of helps me if I'm trying to get three stars on every level. And if I run out of the bonus strokes, I can always go back to that first level, which is an easy level to play, and get more bonus strokes by completing that. Let's go ahead and see if I can fix that. It's going to be a hole, hole in one. And I got three stars. I'm going to show you how you don't that you can surpass. Uh, we're going to get two surpass this number here and only get two stars. So go ahead and take one shot. When it stops, go ahead and take another shot. Now you notice on this shot. This will be the third shot. This this star will gray out. Now, even if I make a shot now and get it in, the maximum amount of stars I can get is two. So that's how that works. And go ahead and go to the main menu. Again, that's how you play. I um, hope this helps some. I uh, hope you enjoy uh, playing it, and thanks for watching.